Hey, welcome everyone. I want to thank you for uh, arriving at this historic day. I'm Michael Slepecki. I'm the CEO of Griswold, and I'm glad you guys could join us on this remarkable occasion, the dedication of the Memorial Highway in the name of our founder, Dr. Gene Griswold. We have some special guests here today. It's my pleasure to introduce Mary Jo, a representative who sponsored the bill, as well as Greg Scott, another state representative, and uh, State Senator Maria Collette, and also the family members of Dr. Gene Griswold. It's Kent is, is Lori, I'm sorry, Kent is Gene's son. Lori is Kent's wife, and Lori's parents, James and Joyce. Thank you. Very nice for you guys to join us. You know, and uh, when we started down this road, so to speak, uh, a little over a year ago, uh, we were really just looking to honor Dr. Gene Griswold with, with something that would uh, be permanent and, and kind of remarkable in celebration of our 40th anniversary. The company began just down the street in Chestnut Hill uh, in 1982, and we thought this would be a great way, and we got the support of our state representatives, and we're excited to uh, really be here to permanently mark this, this occasion. And with that, I would like to introduce Mary Jo Daly, the bill sponsor. Thank you. So, oh, that's come down a little bit. This is when my height gets in the way. So, Jean Griswold was a pioneer. She was a woman with vision, and she knew how to get things done. Thank you all for being here today on the side of Dr. Jean Grins Griswold Memorial Highway. I'd like to acknowledge my uh, colleague, Senator Amanda Capaletti, uh, who sponsored a companion resolution in the Senate to honor Dr. Griswold. Senator Capaletti cannot be with us today as she's on leave as the new mother of a darling baby girl. In Pennsylvania, we have many roads named after political leaders, veterans, and firefighters, but it's important that we extend that honor to other great citizens who contributed in other remarkable ways. Dr. Jean Griswold is one of those great citizens. In 1982, troubled by the death of an elder woman in her community, she established one of the most successful non-medical home care organizations in the country. 40 years later, Griswold Home Care has more than 100 locations nationwide. Dr. Jean Griswold was a female entrepreneur, and 40 years later, female entrepreneurs are still not as common as they should be. In the 1980s, they were extremely rare. The barriers she cleared were enough to discourage many women from opening businesses at all. Not only that, but Dr. Griswold did all of this while managing her own illness, multiple sclerosis, which left her wheelchair bound. Dr. Griswold was inspired to accomplish these things by her driving forces of faith and empathy. Caring for people who are suffering is not often a profitable business model. In this case, it worked out, and thousands of clients over the years are better off because of Dr. Griswold's leadership. It's an honor to be here today and to play a part in celebrating the dynamic empathy of Dr. Jean, Jean Griswold. So thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. And next, I'd like to introduce Senator uh, Maria Collette, as well as Greg Scott, to the podium. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for being here, and I especially want to thank Representative Daly for spearheading this effort um, alongside uh, my colleague in the State Senate, Amanda Capaletti. Uh, it's, it's really such an honor to be here. My name is Maria Collette, and I am proud to represent Whitpain Township and much of the surrounding area in the Pennsylvania State Legislature. And I'm honored to join members of the Griswold family, my fellow elected officials, and all of you today 
as we dedicate Dr. Jean Griswold Memorial Highway and pay tribute to its namesake. While I didn't have the opportunity to meet Dr. Griswold directly, I needn't look far to appreciate the lasting impact of what she's accomplished. Determined to fill a critical gap in quality, compassionate in-home care, Dr. Griswold established Griswold Home Care in 1982, as you heard, 12 years after her diagnosis of MS. She recognized and empathized with the necessity for in-home care for individuals with disabilities, illnesses, or injuries and that first-hand knowledge set her company up for success. Thanks to Dr. Griswold's efforts and those of her family and team, Griswold Home Care has risen to the top of its field with more than 170 locations across 31 states. In addition to her foundational work in caregiving, Dr. Griswold served as the entrepreneur in residence at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, shaping the next generation of business owners in the Philadelphia region. With multiple degrees, an honorary doctorate from Holy Family University, and a book published just a few years before her passing, it's clear that Dr. Griswold was a lifelong learner, entrepreneur, and mentor. I was pleased to learn we share the alma mater of Rutgers University, where Dr. Griswold received her master's degree, and I received my law degree. As the Democratic Chair of the Senate Aging and Youth Committee, and as a nurse with in-home care experience myself, I have been inspired to learn more about Dr. Griswold's life, work, and legacy here in Montgomery County and across the nation. I was proud to support Representative Daley and Senator Capaletti as they led this effort to officially dedicate this portion of State Route 301 in Dr. Griswold's honor, stretching from Township Line Road uh, and Valley Forge Roads in Norristown to Township Line and Walton Roads here in Bluebell, where the Griswold Corporation headquarters is located and I'm pleased to be part of today's event to ensure that Dr. Griswold's name and accomplishments continue to be remembered for generations to come. And now I am thrilled to introduce my friend and colleague, Representative Greg Scott. Thank you so much, Senator Collette. Uh, a big thank you to my mentor and the original co-sponsor of this legislation, our great leader, Mary Jo Daly. We can get clapped for her. I also want to acknowledge Nate and our crew from PennDOT who helped us with this sign. Let's give our PennDOT crew a big round of applause. You know, I never had the opportunity to meet Dr. Griswold, but she sure is incredibly impressive from what I've heard and what I've read. It's not surprising to me that a woman with her background, her grit, her determination, did the things that she did and was able to make a lasting mark on our community. You know, it was once said that the moral test of a government is how that government treats those who are in the dawn of life, the children, those who are in the twilight of life, the elderly, and those who are in the shadows of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped. It is an honor to be here today to re truly recognize a great Pennsylvanian who contributed so much to our world and has successfully passed that moral test to Dr. Jean Griswold Memorial Highway. So we can clap for her. Thank you so much to Mike and the rest of the crew and the family for allowing me to be a part of this. I actually am doing a political thing. I've, I didn't have much work to do, and I'm just following in the footsteps of our great leader, but I'm honored to be here today to recognize such a remarkable woman. Thanks. Yeah, thanks you all. And I think uh, with that, we're going to go on to the big moment of the reveal, and then we're going to ask, ask Kent to come up and say a few words as well. As I mentioned, it was our honor to uh, have some of Gene's family members here today, uh, including Kent, who is Gene's son, uh, Kent's wife, uh, Lori, and her, her parents. Uh, you know, I don't even want, I want to make a couple mentions. Is You know, Kent, he was the president and CEO of this company uh, many years ago. And really, Lori also uh, led this company as well. And Lori now serves on our board of directors. We are really happy to have her rejoin the company. She also uh, put her fingerprints on a lot of the legislation for home care in the state of Pennsylvania, 
uh, in the earliest days. So it's really an honor to have the family here. And Ken, I would invite you to make some more, mention some words. Thank you. At a good height. This is unbelievably exciting. Thank you so much to all of you. Um, I'm Ken Griswold, and Jean Griswold was, was my mother. And I want to thank everyone for being here on this very special occasion. A month ago, Lori, my wife, and I were driving from San Diego to Scottsdale, Arizona, by way of Palm Springs. As we were driving through the desert, we were talking about the spirit and the tenacity and the fearlessness of the pioneers who braved that arid terrain, finding ways through the wilderness with no road signs or AAA or McDonald's, giving birth along the way, dealing with broken wheels on covered wagons, fighting off Indians as they trespassed on their land, and struggling on when snow-covered mountains blocked their path. My mother, Dr. Jean Griswold, was a pioneer herself. Thanks for stealing my word. Other than the visiting nurses, non-medical home care didn't really exist back in 1982 when she started what is now Griswold in the dining room of her home, which belonged to the Presbyterian Church of Chestnut Hill, where my father was the pastor. She had to build her company from scratch, cope with snowstorms, which kept caregivers from getting to their clients, deal with hostile competitors, government regulations, recessions, inflation, worker shortages, and mountains of paperwork all whilst waging a battle of her own with multiple sclerosis, which eventually confined her to a wheelchair. She would be so proud if she could be here today. On behalf of my family, we are so grateful to the team at Griswold and the caring elected officials who took the time to make this happen. There are over 4 million miles of public roads in the United States. There are millions of wonderful stories out there, but I'm so happy that this road beginning on this day can help inspire other people to become pioneers and not give up when faced with challenges, whether they be physical, emotional, or financial, to achieve their goals and to make the world a better place than they found it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kent. And I think uh, we're inviting everybody back to our company headquarters, which is just down the street on the left. Uh, they put out some balloons. We're not having a baby shower, but they are blue. Uh, but before everybody escapes, we do want to get some pictures. So if the legislators and the family would stick around, we'd like to get some photos. <laughs> 